stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the Harbor and lead us in that? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Uh, thank you. Next item on the agenda is approval of the agenda. Do we have a motion to approve the agenda? I make a motion to approve the agenda. Do we have a second? <coughs> second. Any discussion? All in favor signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is recognition. Key sport times we use right on the drawing card. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, uh, recognizing students who have participated in, in this program and been published in the Kingsport Times News in the past month, uh, first of all, I want to thank Ms. Jesse for being diligent in providing these uh, and, and recognizing our students. From Elydale Elementary, we have Carly Jones, Haley Long, Chloe Markham, Sarah McPherson, Alexandra Olson. From Pennington Middle, on the right on, we have Austin Baxter, Abigail Edwards, Tyler Fannin, Logan Grace, Allison Hobbs, Morgan Jesse, Isaiah Scott, and Alexa Stafford. And for the drawing card from Jonesville Middle, we have Caden Ely. <clears throat> Next on the agenda is public comment. Does anyone have any public comment? If not, we'll move on to the consent agenda. First. Mr. Chair, I move the consent agenda of the following items. Approval of minutes from the October 13, 2016 regular meeting. Approval of claims and expenditures. And approval of, the, of a resolution to amend and restate the Lee County Public School 403B plan for eligible employees. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Do we have any discussion? All in favor signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next, reports to the board. By tradition, I start. Um, I'll do some other first. Um, I did attend the public input meeting for Evergreen Solutions on the salary study. I do have a question there. That will include coaching salaries too, will it not? Yes, all salaries. All salaries. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and I also attended the Lee High panel discussion on block scheduling. And from the governor's school meeting, some of the courses for 2017-18 school year will be asynchronous courses. That is, in other words, they can be offered at any time. And, and they're looking at advanced multimedia applications, Appalachian history, astronomy, creative writing, cybersecurity, environmental science, and world civilization to be offered like that. And they're also considering two new courses for the next school year, and that is dual enrollment biology one and two, and dual enrollment introduction to networking, also related to cybersecurity. Um, also, I have included the proposed, some of the proposed legislative positions and bylaw changes that will be voted on next week at the VSBA convention. And uh, I wanted you to, to see this. If you have any input on any of those positions, any questions, um, like how you would want me to vote on those, those and things like that. And I also have two more things, or three more things. Uh, I wish the uh, Lee High School volleyball team good luck. I think they're already on the court right now playing. And um, also then our football team tomorrow evening with their competition. And I don't know, Mr. Superintendent, whether you were going to mention any of the Veterans Day programs that are on tomorrow. don't have it on my agenda, but we can mention it. Okay. Well, that was just uh, other couple things about the Veterans Day program at Jonesville Middle at 9.30 in the morning and then at 1 o'clock at Pennington Middle School. Any other report reports? 
Now we'll move on to reports of the division superintendent. First of all, I want to recognize school with the highest percentage of attendance for the month of October. Uh, in second place for that month is Pennington Middle with an attendance rate of 95%. Uh, and in first place for the month of October is Elydale with an attendance rate of 95.6. Uh, so I want to recognize those schools and the, those staff for their efforts, but also the parents and the students for making those efforts to attend school. Next thing is on enrollment. Uh, we have an average daily membership through the month of October of 3,043.62. Uh, that is a, a little over 13 more students than what we budgeted, so that's good news. Uh, the interesting news on that is we are down 28 students from last month. So uh, that is something that we're continuing to monitor and be aware of from both uh, an operational, but especially from a budgetary standpoint. Uh, looking into reasons as to why that happens also, but at this point don't have any definitive answers. It appears to be kind of hit and miss. Any questions? Uh, next thing is an update on edgenuity and how we are using that program. Uh, it is going very well at both high schools. Uh, the feedback that we have gotten is that we need to take a look at how the grading scale is used in that course. Uh, that the rigor of the course uh, is more challenging, if you will, and there's not an opportunity to have any extra credit or make up work. It's a very self-paced program, uh, but it is set up so that the grade that you earn is the grade that you get. So we are having those conversations, looking at it internally as to how we can address that. Uh, any questions? Next item is Lehigh Varsity Cheer. I want to recognize the group that's in the audience uh, and want for Ms. Williams, Coach Williams, if you want to come up and speak to this and and I am Kalina Williams. I am the cheer coach at Lee High School, and I have two of my captains with me. I have Aaron Server and Jordan Robbins, and they are going to continue to address you guys. So um, this summer, um, the Lehigh Varsity Cheerleaders attended a camp at Wake Forest University. Um, we were we competed against about 12 teams and we won our division for the best band dance. Um, this award qualifies us to perform at this year's Citrus Bowl, which is held on December 31st. Um, in order for us to be eligible to go, we have to raise $14,500. Um, this we do not include travel expenses in that. Um, um, so far, we have currently raised $11,447. We're asking the Lee County School Board for any assistance, financial or otherwise, that will help us reach our goal to attend this event. Thank you. Definitely want to recognize the efforts that you ladies put forth and especially the recognition you received at Wake Forest. Uh, at this point from an administration standpoint, uh, we're helping advertise this so that, uh, I mean, you obviously have made some extended efforts to raise money. Uh, when you're only three thousand dollars off that's uh, that's hands off to you and uh, we will make sure we advertise it from our end to see what other partners we might be able to uh, assist you with but you have a gofundme page right yes it's we do yes lhs generals cheer okay uh, if so any can contribute through that if anyone's interested in that that website is listed on board docs that you could click on that and go to it directly so we, we uh, have to actually discontinue that because it takes two weeks to get your money from that spot, so we, we can't use that one anymore, so, and we were, that one's going to be shut down tomorrow. And okay, so, disregard that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how would anybody who's interested in supporting you get in touch? And they can call the school, or if they want to bring any money, they can bring it by the school. Okay. Why don't you put on your cheer page that the GoFundMe no longer is up? And they could send it just put the address to the to Lee House School 200 General Lane Attention Cheer Fund. Okay. That way, because a lot of people may not be able to get out for it to get there to do a donation, and they could just mail it in. Okay. And if you send us that information, also we'll be glad to put it on board docs and make sure we get that updated. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Congratulations. Good luck, girl. Good luck. The last item that I have is an update on the facility study. Uh, MGT of America is the company that we contracted with for this service. Uh, they are coming next week, uh, the 14th through the 18th, and going to all of our schools. Uh, they will be spending a lot of time looking at everything from top to bottom on the condition of our facilities. And then on the evening of the 28th, that's Monday the 28th, this is also on board docs, 
Uh, at 7 o'clock, we will be doing a public input session at Thomas Walker. Again, Monday, November 28th at 7 o'clock at Thomas Walker. And this format is going to be different than how we've done other public inputs. MGT comes in and they will share information, collect information, but then also what they're going to do is basically put comments up on a screen, hand out clickers to everybody who's there, and you get to vote on do you agree, do you disagree. It's going to be a very interactive uh, public input meeting and then after that they're going to break into small groups of eight to ten people and have conversations so that way the public input is not just two or three people standing up and, and speaking to the company. Uh, this will not be a call board meeting but of course board members may attend. On Tuesday, uh, November the 29th at six o'clock we will be at Lee High School doing the same thing. So November 28th and November 29th. 28th at Thomas Walker, 29th at Lee High. Again all the information is on board docs. Next is unfinished business. There's nothing on the agenda under unfinished business, so we'll move to action and discussion items. First on that list is update on 2012-2018 Division Comprehensive Plan. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, one of the things that we have as a guiding document from administration is our comprehensive plan. Uh, this is something that was developed by a previous board and administration in 2011. This currently runs from 2012 to 2018. I want to provide you an update on where we are and also begin conversations for the development of the next comprehensive plan. Uh, and to address that in more detail, we have Mr. Brian Dean, who is our Director of Instruction here to speak to you this evening. Mr. Dean. Mr. members of the board, um, you all had in your packet a short update that I included in that. I just hit some of the highlights from that plan, some of the good, some areas we need to work on. Four years ago, we had six schools and improvement. We're down to one this year, so I think that's showing we're making strides. Um, noted some of the offerings we have at the Career Technical Center, at the high school, the high and Thomas Walker, AP, dual enrollment, um, Governor's School, Virtual Virginia. Uh, technology, we've made great strides. We have teachers now, with all of them have Chromebook. We have a number of Chromebooks in the school. I think testing is gonna go a whole lot easier this year because we can test on not only PCs, but Chromebooks. So we'll be able to do that and get that accomplished better. At the bottom, I included a lot of data in areas that, you know, going back through those, we found some weaknesses. Um, graduation rate, we're a little behind the state, state average, I don't think I put that on there, but 91.3. You can tell Lehigh and Thomas Walker are both a little below that number. Um, I included the ACT scores. We're a little behind state average on those. State average was 23.3 on the ACT scores. The performance on the SOLs, we were right in the state average on all of those except writing. Um, state average on writing was 77%. Last year we were at 61 with writing. And then attendance rates were also behind the state state average was 95.33. So we've got some areas that we need to work on, but we, you know, going from six schools and improvement to one, I think we've, we've made some good strides. Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Next item on the agenda <clears throat> is action, if any, to approve disposal of surplus property for school board policy DN, disposal of surplus items. Do we have a motion? I'll make the motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor signify by stating aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> Next on the agenda is action, if any, to reappropriate $1 million from the general fund, fund one to the insurance fund, fund five. Do we have a motion? You can go ahead and speak to the, the, the information on this uh, for your information is, uh, we are requesting a permission to reappropriate a million dollars from our operating fund, which is locally supported to our insurance fund. Uh, when we developed the budget back in May, uh, the school board decided not to pass along, and that was with administration's recommendation not to pass along rate increases related to health insurance. Uh, as a result of that, we were planning to spend into our health insurance fund, which had a balance in excess of $2 million. Uh, at that point, we had $2 million invested in a certificate of deposit uh, that matures in March. 
uh, in order to continue to gain access to the interest <coughs> for that certificate, we are recommending that we reappropriate temporarily uh, access to a million dollars out of our operating fund, our general fund, into the health insurance fund. Uh, if we don't need that much, we won't spend that much. Uh, and this is two permissions in one. Uh, that once the CD matures in March, that we replenish the operating fund with whatever balance comes out of the health insurance fund. The administration recommends approval. I move that one million dollars be transferred from the general fund, fund one, to the health insurance fund, fund five, until after the health insurance CD matures, then one million dollars will be transferred from the insurance fund to the general fund. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? No discussion. Everyone in favor signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next on the agenda is action, if any, to approve a resolution to support the recommendations introduced at the Coalfields Equity Summit. Mr. Chairman and members of the board, at the last board meeting, there was a meeting being conducted at UVA Wise that was called the Coalfields Equity Summit. Uh, they addressed some needs that we have within the region and there are eight school divisions that fall within this category and what they have recommended and are requesting to send to the General Assembly is a request that we get a cost to compete funding similar to what Northern Virginia gets. Uh, also that we get what's called enrollment loss, uh, that we get held harmless on any enrollment loss. When I mentioned earlier uh, that we have a decline in our enrollment uh, we would be able to maintain funding for those students uh, even though we don't have them. We wouldn't be able, we would not realize 100% loss of that revenue. We would only realize a 5% loss. Uh, so that is uh, considered a hold harmless clause from the General Assembly and that is the request that's being made again from eight different school divisions that are listed in this resolution. So if this resolution passes, is it going to be sent only to the General Assembly? That's my understanding, yes sir. They changed what they were thinking about earlier. No. Uh, they there is a proposal that some superintendents are still planning to send a letter uh, to several newspapers throughout the Commonwealth, and that's a um, that's an interesting approach that is a little outside of this resolution. But the resolution is intended to go to the General Assembly. We're still working through details uh, on the other letter. That is not something that your name or Lee County Public Schools would be signed to you as a school board. This is the resolution that goes only to the General Assembly and subcommittees. Okay. And right. some of the, the legislative positions that I mentioned earlier uh, relate to, to positions on this also. Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, is there a motion to approve I, resolution? I move that we support the resolution. Is there a second? Any discussion? No discussion. All in favor signify by stating aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Next on the agenda is board comments. Anyone have any comments they'd like to make? I'd like to say happy Veterans Day to everyone and congratulations to the Lehigh cheerleaders. Thank you for coming. I'd like to congratulate the cheerleaders. I've enjoyed watching you all and cheering with you. I was a cheerleader, once a cheerleader, always a cheerleader. That's a great honor. And y'all done an outstanding job raising the amount of money that you've raised. Um, none of the volleyball team are here. We um, have had a year unlike Lehigh has ever had with volleyball. I guess they're playing tonight, correct? I hope that they win. We've had a good football season. We go to the playoffs, took the first playoff game tomorrow night. So Lehigh is on a row and, and doing well. I'm proud of you all. Anyone else? All right, if not, do we have a motion to go into closed session? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we go into closed session to discuss personnel code of Virginia 2.2-3711A1 to also discuss uh, or consider the acquisition of real property for a public pur purpose, Code of Virginia 2.2-3711A3, in consultation with legal counsel regarding specific legal matters, Code of Virginia 2.2-3711A7, and also to discuss pending and threatened litigation, Code of Virginia 2.2-3711A7. Do we have a second? I second. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by stating aye. 